Well, this is not a spring chicken. One of the big events, today, big news today, is President Obama is getting, let's just say, the Democrats are getting upset with President Obama because he's been caught on tape several times. Well, actually, they're upset with the Republicans for bringing it up that Obama... Oh, it is? Oh, well, you know, part of it is that you're saying it on tape, and you're the president, it's going to get out there. Wouldn't you think so? Especially if you're talking about... How much you enjoy eating dog meat? Now, I don't know about you, but here in the United States, and I know in Britain, too, there's a lot of people that love their dogs as pets. But to talk about eating dog meat, hmm. Well, for now, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headline. So you never get to Amazon. <laughs> so See? We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, this one we've got to be careful about because everyone knows, first of all, Rex is a dog. And Rex worships the ground the president works on, and now he has found out. I had to cover Rex's ears. The president, and numerous times, has remarked how much he loves to eat dog meat. Mm -hmm. It's a delicacy of his family in Kenya. But be, be assured, though, the Democratic Party has said there is a double standard. That while they can criticize Mitt Romney for playing or doing what a lot of people do. I mean, I, my family used to put the dogs in the back of the back of the truck. And, uh, and, of course, the kids were put there with the dog, but don't ever do anything like that, you know, because it gets you in trouble. Whereas if you say you eat dogs, you're not supposed to tell people if you, that the president eats dogs. You can only criticize Romney, not the president. And they're demanding the Republicans stop this nonsense with the president, which isn't going to happen, of course. And Obama wants to forgive student debt for his supporters because it will create new jobs. Well, they're, okay, this is when they're, they're continuing to talk about this because it has no support even on the Democrats because he wants, to, okay, here you've got this Democrat who's a wealthy lawyer that basically is still paying on his college bills that he ran up when he was in college. And Obama wants to forgive their children's debts, not their debts, but their children's college debts. And it's going to cost a trillion dollars, and um, you know, you're not going to see, uh, you know, a United States senator who still owes thousands of dollars in his college bill saying, "We're going to tell my grandkids that they don't have to pay it, and I'm going to have to pay for them." It, it's not flying anywhere. It's a trillion dollars in debt for people that a are trillion um, dollars. Yeah, for in their 40s and lower. And Twitter backlash for people who didn't know Titanic was real. I don't think they keep pushing this one. I know. Why is this one still in the news? Because Titanic is still, Titanic is basically, uh, Titanic has made three times the amount of money it cost to 3D the movie. And they want to keep it in the news in order to keep the box off. Well, they're making 10, 10 $12 million a week on, on, a, a, on a picture that was basically, uh, you know, transferred from 2D to 3D, so... Well, you know, it, it shows it was worthwhile to do it. That's right. Three times it, but that's, okay, here's a good one. It brought in, the IMAX version in China brought in more money than the original showing of Titanic in China did. Oh, it did? Yeah. Well, so, and one of the reasons is 3D is huge in China. Oh, God, it's big. 50, that's a, what was it? Uh, $87 million they brought in on the IMAX version wow. alone. Wow. Yeah, well, it. and the other part is there's a lot of people that are seeing it that probably never saw yeah, that's it. That's why they don't. People think they, they think that the movie was a was a feature film and never the Titanic never existed, which is why they're, they're, this thing keeps going on because, well, we can guarantee you there's some reporters out there that didn't know the Titanic was real also. Are you serious? They've caught them on I mean, the <laughs> talking on, you know, that the Titanic was one of the best scripted fiction pieces I've ever seen. And I wished I'd got my hands on the book. There wasn't any book. It was that, a real thing. Oh, some people really did. Yeah. Know. An adopted Russian boy rejected by U.S. mother and just in foster care. Well, no, they're trying to bring the kid back to the United States and force the woman to keep him. No, the woman won't because the kid tried to kill her. Well, here's That's part why of it. he was sent to back. If the mother doesn't want the kid, why do you want to send the kid back? Uh, they, they didn't bother to tell the woman that the kid had uh, tendencies to be violent. Well, that's a good reason for not wanting the kid. Yeah. Yeah. And Cuban agent returns to the U.S. after seeing brother. Yeah, I, I always wondered. He was a Cuban agent, folks. So yeah. why did we allow him back into the United States knowing he's a Cuban agent? Because Obama probably... Well, I know what it is. I've got to cover Rex's ears. Obama is probably giving... 
Castro, all of the American military secrets with the Cuban agent. Ah, uh, and when Turbine Blimp aims to replace diesel generators. Oh, okay. This is ridiculous. You, you, anybody, we have been to the shows. Anybody have a clue of how big a wind generator is? It can be like a, a you know, the, the, basically the stupid uh, blades can be 50 foot long on those monsters. And they're, they're like behemoths. And the Sierra Club will not allow them to be built. The, um, the Audubon Society will not allow them, but they only work in areas that are flight paths of birds. And, and they're god awful ugly. And Obama enjoyed a 10 to 1 financial edge over Romney. Oh, yeah, it's a really big deal. Let's see. Oh, the, president, the, president covers here. the president who is going to get a trillion dollars to run against the Republicans, uh, what was it, four months into the fundraising year. He's only got one hundred and eleven million dollars to play with, and Romney has ten. Romney has ten million. They said Romney could actually put forth twice as much money as the president does by just writing a check. Mm -hmm. So he said that Romney, uh, the Obama is not getting the, the the low. He's not he's not getting the, the stuff from the internet. And he's not getting the big donations. The president is basically a disaster. He said at this time in the two hundred eight election he had over $300 million in the bank. Oh, really? It's a disaster campaign. Bill, why well, didn't give back Bill Maher's money? Because Bill Maher, that's what they're running a super PAC off of. Mm -hmm. A Norwegian gunman describes hunting down teenagers. Well, because he's a, he's a, he's a Muslim loony. The, okay, this is, why the, this is why Muslims are basically so disliked in Europe. They, they, if you talk about an insular society. The Europeans do not like immigrants in their countries. None of them do. And they got themselves a guy that believes in, you know, another faith, and he basically took it out on people he didn't agree with. And sorry for party rocking, GSA and Secret Service scandals. Okay, Obama basically, well, this has no teeth. It's not going to have any running. You know, well, yes, it is, because they have fired nine Secret Service employees in violation of the union contracts and SEIU cannot stand by and let union workers that are signed on with them be fired by the Obama administration, mm -hmm. which means he's now on bad footing with the union that he mm -hmm. needs to get himself reelected. Those are his foot soldiers, and they represent a lot of civil service employees. You can fire you can. a civil service employee without a big hearing that lasts a year or so. So what's going to happen is a they're going to have to order all of them be rehired. They're going to have to expunge all their records. In order to keep from losing a zillion dollars, they're going to have to forget it ever happened. Well, I would also probably think it's probably not wise to screw up the people that are protecting you. Oh, okay, they said, um, okay, here is the theory that probably is more fact than theory. Obama promised he was going to go to South America and open up the South American markets for American goods. Instead of what happened was they basically ran him out of South America because they don't like his policies, they don't like him, and um, he, 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 he's just not the type of person, well, they know he's a wimp, and they will not deal with somebody that basically, I mean, Jimmy Carter, they liked in Jimmy Carter because Jimmy Carter basically could, he's one of, he could speak their language, well, Obama can't. And why investors aren't impressed with profits? Because there isn't any real profits. Okay, I'm going to explain it this way. It's simple for Jim and Rex to listen to this one. If you beat your estimates by a penny, that is not doing good. If you beat your estimates by a penny and your losses on the next quarter eat everything that you made the last quarter plus two quarters back, it's not profits. It's just it's paper is all it is. You know that next quarter you've got to go down the toilet. And light bulb with 20 year life unveiled in U.S. on Earth Day. Um, that's not going to happen because the modern light bulbs don't. Okay, I can guarantee you that every modern light bulb out there croaks about half, half the time that an old one does. I know, they don't last nearly as long. They don't last, they, they cost you more money. They're also hazardous waste that you, you have to treat them. You cannot take your light bulb, toss it in a trash can, you have to take it to a hazardous waste dump. And more firings coming to the Secret Service scandal. And they said they can't fire them. It's against the against secret. It's against the the uh, rules of civil service. They have to have a hearing, an administrative hearing, and they have to be given time to apply to do all of that. And they can take. They said it is virtually impossible to fire a civil service employee. Virtually impossible. And and they're firing them now on no grounds.
and a monkey bubble is from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Um, that there's a, here's one we've learned from life. It is not wise to pay your bills on somebody else's cell phone.